How do you know you've made it on YouTube? I think the best way to be able to tell that you've made it on YouTube is if other creators, say like large creators, yeah? They're making videos about your videos. They're mentioning you. For example, if Moist Critical, Charlie, yeah? If he was to say, well, Mike Z Gamer's video today was very interesting. He was speaking about YouTube and how the algorithm is set up to be fairly unfairly created for new creators or something. And he just does his spiel of the cesspool and the, you know, he does his little take on it. He puts his little personality into it and he does his video. Yeah. If, if that's an example, I'm just saying like, that's how you would know that you were on the right track because you would see these large creators mentioning you or having your fit picture in their thumbnails. That's how you would know you're, you're kind of climbing the ropes of the YouTube laddering system. You know, you've got Mr. Beast right at the top. You know, he's the main, main creator on YouTube. And then everyone kind of trickles down below him. He's basically the king of YouTube now. It used to be PewDiePie. PewDiePie was a very dedicated youtube gaming streamer slash making videos and he made videos for 10 20 years and he live streamed thousands of live streams if not tens of thousands of live streams and it was gaming and it was funny clips of him doing funny faces and you know making funny shorts and funny vids <clears throat> and yeah now it's uh, mr beast but i'm just saying like that's some some information for some of you uh, new creators that are just getting onto youtube and you're trying to figure it out and you're like, okay, how does things actually work on this platform? Because no one's explained much. Because everyone's just in it for themselves. And I understand you see that a lot. There's so many YouTubers that don't give a heck about people. And they just care about what they got to say, what they got to do. And their money coming in. And then everyone else is just like just supporting and donating and viewing and commenting. And just like, you know, basically doing the best they can to, to show up for that person. But that person doesn't give much back usually. You don't really see that very often. Uh, in terms of them giving advice, uh, the big creators give back a lot, obviously, finances and, you know, there's a great video to watch that's entertaining, so that's, that's more than enough giving back. But my point is, is that you don't really hear a lot of advice on how to grow in this platform. And when you do, it's just like, it's the same kind of stuff. They kind of copy each other. They don't really have their own little take on things. And, you know, they probably read it somewhere on Reddit or they got it from someone else's channel and they're just spewing it out. But I just, just came to my head today and I thought, you know, no one's really mentioned this very much about how YouTube kind of works in a way or how you know what you're doing and how you're doing. Because uh, the views can be very deceiving. The subscriber count can be very deceiving and the memberships can be very deceiving and the donations can be very deceiving because it's very all over the place. It's scattered. It's very inconsistent, you know. And the metrics are very strange. <clears throat> you don't really know if you're 100% growing or not. You know, it's a little bit to go off. But it's not really enough. Uh, if you're trying to make it to the next level, and the next level, and the next level, you would know you're getting near the top. When there's, like I said, if you've missed it, uh, other creators are talking about your channel. Or they're recommending your channel. Or they're promoting your channel. You as a person. Then you know that you, physically you, yeah, there's not a lot of us left because of AI, but real people are actually gaining the ladder of YouTube and getting up there to the larger channels, yeah, when you're getting closer to it. Because think about it, when everyone starts off, they're down here, yeah? Mr. Beast is here. And you've got people in between, you know? And everyone's just trying to get up there. They're very suppressed, and they're trying to make their way up there. They're going through the algorithm, they're trying different things, and they're just all over the place, and they just can't get up because they're being... A lot is not helping in terms of like their create, creativity, <clears throat> the pacing, um, <clears throat> them not being, you know, Hollywood enough, acting enough, the personality is not good enough, the editing is not good enough, the thumbnail is not good enough for people to click on, to view, to comment, to like, share, whatever, like... There's a lot of things, a lot of a lot of factors that, that come into the YouTube. But that's just some advice. Hopefully you guys could take it with a grain of salt and it can help you out somehow or help you understand a little bit how it works. Uh, if you are just seeing it from a watching standpoint and you want to get more into making a channel and creating your own uh, YouTube 
content that people can enjoy just like you would enjoy someone else's. Hopefully that's something that helps you you lot out. And I wanted to reach this out to about three minutes uh, so that it's a little bit long enough of content for you guys to really like watch it. You know, if it's like 20 seconds, people just click off. It's, you know, it's too fast. You know, and if it's like five hours, it's too long. So I'm trying to like figure out what's the, the, the prime time of what people would be willing to watch and sit through or hear through. You know, because a lot of you guys don't watch me. You know, some of you guys actually just just listen, and that's okay by me because at the end of the day, I still get my click, I still get my view. Okay, I know you guys don't want me to get views. You know, you want me to be suppressed. I get it. You know, you're not a huge fan of mine. My content is different, but I mean, end of the day, everyone's got to survive, man. So, see you guys in a new one. If you do enjoy listening, which most of you probably do. Then go ahead and press that subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.